Who wants to join me on my trading room? Traders, I have a short lesson for you before I talk about our lesson. Uh, here's the way I'm doing today. As you can see, I'm up uh, just over $18,000, close to 19. And uh, look at the trades here. Tesla, of course, is the best one um, uh, added as it came down. Uh, DKNG is a loser. I've got a winner in SAGE, MRNA and NVAX. Uh, winner in AVX, although it moved more than 10 points, is very small. The reason for that, I had two trades in NVAX. The first one was a loser. Actually, the first trade I took today. So bounce from red to green. But now let's talk about the lesson. The lesson is extremely important. So hear me out. Take a look at uh, MRNA. What are you seeing today? You're seeing a stock that uh, first was on my short list. I posted it pre-market time. I was ready to short it. Why is that? Because I was looking at the daily. Look at what happened the daily. Uh, it's stopping. It came down yesterday. I missed my trade yesterday. It was my short candidate yesterday too. I missed it because it just started coming down and then just didn't stop. And later, as you can see, the bottoming tail, it moved up. Once I saw this bottoming tail, pre-market time today, I thought, well, maybe mRNA hasn't finished its job. And it did start with a small gap down today. So I thought, well, could be a short opportunity. Posted it for pre-market uh, uh, pre market as a possible trade. But then I couldn't find an entry point. Why? Because it started with a gap down, moved up, closed the gap, right at the point where it closed the gap, it uh, came down and um, continued coming down. I posted it for a short right over here at 2.06.30. Now you may ask yourself why? Because the stock was uptrending and it looks like it's going to continue uptrending. But you need to look at the stock not just from the point of view of the uptrend, but several other things as well. Now, let's talk a little bit about that because it's extremely important. It is going to be the topic of my lesson in the Star Trader course, which is going to be on Thursday, no, on Friday this week. Uh, we're going to talk about gaps which are getting closed, but there's a very good example here to gaps and uh, not just gaps getting closed, but also in the context of what mRNA is doing. So please remember, first, always to take a look at the daily. So Tesla, sorry, mRNA's daily is looking like mRNA should come down. It's stopping. It looks like it should, it has a place to come down. And yesterday, look at what happened. Started with the gap down, came down. As you can see, did not give me a chance to move in. I was very sorry to miss this trade yesterday, but well, couldn't. Anyway, Today, it started with a gap down and it chose to move higher. Why is that? Well, you know, when stocks are starting down with a gap down, there's a huge advantage for institutional traders to buy. Why? Because institutional traders are getting extra commissions when they are buying stocks for their customers at the price which is lower than yesterday's close. When a stock is starting down under yesterday's close and the institutional traders who have the job, some of them have the job to buy, some of them have the job to, job to sell. Those who have the job to sell will not sell because the stock is moving higher. Those who have the job to buy could buy. They could make a decision to buy. And in fact, if they will buy for several reasons, which we're going to learn on Thursday, if you're on the Star Trader course, and it is important to understand these reasons, they're going to get extra commission. They're actually going to triple or more their commission if they buy a stock under yesterday's close. Just remember that it's a fact. It's the way institutional traders are working. So the stock starts down with a gap down and then it moves higher because as long as those institutional traders who are 80% of the volume of every stock that we are trading are buying as it moves higher, before it closes the gap, they're still getting extra commission. A lot of extra commission, that price. A little bit less, a little bit less, a little bit less, no extra commission. At the point where it closes the gap, no extra commission. And that means, well, we're not making extra. How about we stop here? And then comes those who are in charge of selling because 80% of the volume does not mean that 80% of the uh, volume that comes from institutions is all from buyers. Half of it, let's say, is from buyers and half of it, let's say, depends on the day. Of course, right now we see that we have more sellers than we have buyers and so on. But those who are in charge of selling are now taking the driver's seat and they are trying to starting to sell. Possibly, not necessarily. So that means when the stock moved up, closed the gap, 
I don't trust the buyers to continue. No extra commissions for the institutional traders. And we're going to talk about it on Thursday. We're going to explain why. So at that point, when I see a chance that the stock will move down, I will short it. Now, it's not just about the fact that the gap was closed and the extra commission is gone and now it's going to come down. It's also in the context of what mRNA daily looks like. And take a look at yesterday. These are five minute candles. It came down strong. It is very, very weak. It's likely to continue the downtrend. So it's not just the fact that it closed the gap. And OK, so now we should have a reversal. It's everything together. That's why I shorted it at the point of 206.30. That's why I thought it should come down. And you know, I'm not always right, but my win rate is approximately 68%. And that's an example of a very technical idea, something that we always, try, not always, but ever once in a while <laughs> we do that. And again, when I saw something as perfect as that, I mean, it started the pre-market time. I was ready to short it. Uh, it continued uh, during market time when I saw that it's closed in gap. And therefore, I knew that it's likely to change direction at that point. And it just turned out to be a very technical trade and one of my best trades. So as you can see, uh, mRNA gained uh, more than $4,700. Uh, $4, so that was a good trade. One of my best today. And well, we're having a great day. Hope you guys doing too. And uh, hope this lesson helped you a bit. And again, again on Thursday, we're going to talk, on Friday, sorry, we're going to talk about the reasons. Uh, why do they get extra commission and everything that's what we're going to learn. You know, it's always important to know what is behind the idea of the institutional traders. How does it really work like? So that's going to be on Friday. I'm going to leave something to Friday. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for participating in this beautiful day. And I uh, really appreciate that. And if you are on YouTube and you thought you gained something from some knowledge today or we helped you in some way, please give us a thumb up. It really helps our channel, helps more people like you to join us, learn a little bit more about day trading. So just please give us a click of a button. It's just down there. Thank you very much for participating. I'll see you all tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, traders.